As a PC gamer, one thing you may have thought about getting is headphones, but which ones are the best? There's so many types of headphones, Bluetooth, wired, over ear, on ear, open back. Today we're going to be looking at all the types of headphones and determine which ones may be best for you. Let's start with the most common pick, over ear. These are the HyperX Cloud 2s. Now I bought the Cloud 2s back in 2015 and not only have they lasted this long, but they still feel brand new. This headset is very well built, it's flexible, adjustable, and very sturdy which I'm sure we can all appreciate. For the build quality, I was very surprised with how light this headset is, weighing in at 320 grams or about 0.7 pounds and that's if you include the cord and microphone that came with it. This headset comes with interchangeable ear cuffs giving you the option between these soft velvety cuffs and these surprisingly soft leathery ones which are the ones that I use. Attached to the cord here is a built in dongle that lets you control the audio levels for both the mic and headset as well as offering Dolby 7.1 surround which has been amazing to use while gaming. The microphone on this is pretty good and conveniently has its own built in noise cancellation so none of your friends have to listen to you mash on your keys while you're gaming. The mic is also very flexible whilst also staying exactly where you want it to and it's also an added feature which is nice being as I would never use the thing and it adds some extra versatility to this headset. So what are the pros of using an over ear headset? Well, over ear headsets like this one are definitely more comfortable for most people, especially if they're well padded and lightweight. Sound is another big pro for over ear. Some of the best sound comes from over ear headsets as all the sound is trapped within the cuffs, which means a lot of natural noise rejection is also found within headsets like this. The cons, however, are that portability wise, these are a bit trickier than on ear or especially earbuds. Over ear headsets are typically bulkier and though yes HyperX did allow for a lot of versatility with these, if you're the sort of person who's looking for something to use while gaming as well as on the go, you may have a little bit more trouble with headsets like these. Another con that won't be as large for most of you is motion sickness. Believe it or not, headsets are a big thing to worry about for people who suffer from motion sickness and over the ear headsets especially if they're heavy can get you feeling pretty awful in only a few hours of gaming. One of the many reasons I mostly use speakers while gaming is because of this very issue, so if you're prone to this, then closed back over ear may not be right for you. This moves us over to the Sennheiser PC37X. Now if you've never heard of this headset but are familiar with Sennheiser, worry not. The reason you may not have heard of these is because they're a mass drop sponsored item. Oh no, you may say, won't that mean they won't be as good? And I was kind of worried of the same. But once I tested it out, played around with it, and did some much valued research, it turns out this headset is literally the Sennheiser Game 1 at a cheaper price. Which, if you know anything about that headset, it's very nice. Now this is an open back over ear headset which we will get into in a bit. This headset has a volume wheel conveniently on the right earphone and on the left is a built in mic. The thing I liked most about this headset was how practical it was. Not only is it the lightest over the ear headset I've ever used but lifting the mic to the top of the headset will actually mute the mic as well which is just intelligent design. Now the mic is not removable which is okay and not actually that big of a deal and the motion on the mic is pretty good. The mic sounds pretty good too, which had me surprised by how good it actually was. Now I do have to say that the build quality does feel a bit cheap. The plastic is very light and there are some sharp edges. I also noticed not a lot of color, but for the price, I can't see much going wrong for this headset and I almost hate to bash it for material used because this headset feels very nice to wear. The last thing I really liked about this was the removable cable. That's just convenient and I wish all headsets were built like this. Now let's talk about the thing that makes this headset different, the open back. What this means is even with the headset on you can still hear everything around you as the cups here are open. This is really convenient for things like hearing someone at your door whilst you're chatting with friends, being able to hear yourself while you talk which is awesome for me cause I may be one of those people who get loud when I can't hear my own volume. And the open back also makes for a much different audio experience while playing video games. It kinda makes the game you're playing feel connected to the world you're in so if you're an immersion gamer then open back headsets might be great for you. Now in this venture I was looking for headsets that can also combat motion sickness and over ear open back seems like the best option. Especially with them being as light as they are I've never gotten motion sickness while using them and if I had to guess it's gotta be that open design. Now of course there are cons to everything and open backs are no exception. Because these things let all the noise in without any control over that there would be nothing you can do if you have loud neighbors, roommates or family members. Another con is the audio will leak out of the sides of the headset so if you're listening to that new Miley Cyrus album and you wanted to be inconspicuous about that then these may not be right for you. Our next headset is the Cos Porta Pro X which was also sponsored by Mastrop. These have got to be the strangest on ear headphones I think I've ever seen. The design is strange, very low key and simple which makes them great for on the go and at home. As small and fragile as they look though, they're very sturdy, comfortable and they grip your head well. I honestly don't think I could shake these off which is cool because I can barely feel them when they're on. 
Where I was really surprised though was the audio quality. I didn't expect much, but the audio that came from these little guys was pretty respectable. Now, there are a few features that I didn't expect, and I'm kind of surprised by how much cost packed into this thing. Right here above the ear pads is an extra grip that helps keep it from moving around. And not only does it work well, but you can adjust how soft or firmly it grabs hold of your head. And I know I could have probably worded that better, but that's just what it does, okay? There's also a button here on the cable that once clicked picks up phone calls and controls other forms of media. There's also another version that has more media buttons, and I'm not exactly sure why they would sell two different versions, but whatever. Speaking of the cable though, it's not that great. It feels cheap, and I'm afraid it might break after a while of use, but let's move on to why you may look for on-ear headsets. On-ear headsets are almost as portable as earbuds, whilst offering a much more accurate sound. They're extremely versatile, as well as can be used in anything with a headphone jack. I could see these being used on a bus, on a car ride, at the gym, playing video games. The cons, however, stop me from making these something I'd use all the time. Firstly, the tight build of these on-ear headsets can become uncomfortable over time. On the ears, the metal band on the head, they tend not to have the cushion that most other headsets have, and even the ones that do, still can get uncomfortable after a while. These particular headphones pulled my hair a couple of times, which I'm sure I don't have to tell you why that would get annoying. On-ear headphones also don't close sound in like over-ear headphones do, so just like open back, people will probably be able to hear your music, and when it comes to these types, they're probably the second lowest on my list of headsets for gaming. This last pair of headphones has got to be the worst one on the list and easily the worst headset I've ever bought. These are Bluetooth noise cancelling headphones by Lucid Audio, and boy are they awful. Starting off, the headband is not comfortable. It's a big metal bar with the slightest amount of padding placed under for I guess an idea of comfort. The ear pads are a hard rubber or maybe even plastic which feels very uncomfortable when up against your ears. The design of these are also counterintuitive and it just feels like this thing was slapped together with no thought put into them at all. For example, the battery compartment is up at the top left headphone and adjusting for size is not a smooth experience. There's a spot at the bottom right here for an audio jack, which might be a good idea as the Bluetooth signal is very weak on these and it cuts out a lot. On the right ear cup over here we have two volume wheels which are also kind of located in an annoying spot but brings us to the main reason that I got this headset. Like I said before, this is a noise cancelling headset, meaning it has a couple built in microphones constantly picking up audio from the outside world as well as within the game that you're playing. The idea is that if you want to hear your game more than the room around you, then all you have to do is adjust the volume wheel, and same goes for your microphone that's picking up the noises in the room. The idea sounds good, similarly to a hunting headset, you can turn up the volume of things around you, but the problem here is the mic within isn't very good. There's a constant hiss all the time that gets exponentially louder as you turn up the microphone, and even without that hiss, the mic isn't very good. As for Bluetooth signal strength, I think they're using the same technology from when it was first invented. The signal cuts out and dies a lot, and you're just left with an extremely unpleasant experience the entire time. As for this type of headset, I will say noise-canceling headsets seem really cool. The idea for me was to combat motion sickness, which was unbelievably counterintuitive. Hearing your voice as you speak through the mic is not only weird, but it probably enhanced my motion sickness more than any other headset I've ever worn. However, noise cancelling headphones on their own do have their pros. A few of them can intelligently block out noise on their own, a few of them have a tethered connection so you don't have to rely on someone's crappy Bluetooth alternative. However, if they are battery powered, you can go through those batteries pretty fast and or have to change them a lot, and they also tend to have a tighter fit being as they have to cut out as much noise as possible, and this can get uncomfortable pretty fast. As far as headsets go, there's a lot to choose from, but as far as gaming goes, these types seem to be the best to choose from. I hope this video helped to decide which type of headset is right for you, but don't be impulsive and do your research. Look around, try out a few, and come to a solid conclusion. There's nothing worse than buying a headset that you don't like. It's like picking a girlfriend. At first you thought maybe you wanted it for the color or quality, but then you realized you wanted more than that, and the one you got doesn't offer open back.